Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add pictures into letters. Before I start with the tutorial, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and press the notification bell. We're going to go to text. And look for the font that you wish to use. I'm going to use Impact. This font is thick and I think is perfect for this project. You may leave the letters like that or you can make them thicker. Since it doesn't give us the option to make it bold, we're going to ungroup and we're going to make it bold using the offset feature. We can regulate the thickness of your choice. You may eliminate the center of the letter if you wish or you can just leave it very thin and apply. And we do the same with the other ones. Just make sure it's the same thickness. Now select one by one and weld. Now we're going to separate them. There. Now there is two options of how to do this process. I'm going to show you both. The first one, go to Upload, select the picture you wish to use, and insert. Resize it, bring the letter you wish to use, and place it on top. Go to Arrange and bring it to the front. Resize the picture, not the letter because we want them all the same size. Now select both layers and slice. Eliminate the layers you don't need and ready. We have the first letter over here. Now I'm going to show you the second option. Go to upload and instead of clicking on upload image, we're going to click on upload pattern. Browse, select the picture you wish to use. I'm going to pick the same picture and open it. Change the name if you wish and upload. Now select the letter you wish to add the picture, go to operation, on print then cut, select a standard, click on the color pattern and instead of color you're going to use pattern and you're going to see the picture that you just uploaded. Click and the letter will already have the picture. It repeats though, select, go back to the color pattern and edit pattern. And here you can make it smaller or you can make it bigger. I'm going to leave it like that and close the window. I like this option better because it let me resize the picture to my taste. And here you can see it repeats. Now I'm going to insert another picture to place it on this letter. Go to upload. I'm going to select this one and this one. Insert. I'm going to bring the letter on top. Align it, select both layers and 
slice. Here is the layers you don't need and ready. Now on this one, I'm going to replace the picture. I'm going to use this one. Place the letter on top and place it where you wish to cut. Select and slice. And ready. Now select and align at the bottom. I'm ready. See, it's very easy. There is two options and you can pick the one that is best for you. So I think I'm going to add an offset, but I'm going to do it letter by letter. It's gonna be a very thin offset. Just make sure it's the same thickness. Now select each of them in group so they don't move. And separate them a little if you wish. And there. See, it looks beautiful. You may use them to make sublimation designs, cards to customize t-shirts, pillows, many things you can do with this. I'm going to add some more text. Go to text and look for the font that you wish to use. I'm going to use one that is called About Love. I'm going to group the letters in the center, then select all of them and align center horizontally. Change the color. I'm going to use the same color as the offset. I'm ready. Now it's ready to print. Let's select and flatten. But remember, Krika Design Space doesn't print bigger than 6.75 by 9.25. So we're going to make it smaller than that. Now let's go to print. Make it. And if you need a sublimation printing, remember to mirror. Continue, send to printer, and if you wish to print straight from here, just remove the bleed and print. But if you wish to save the image to print it from another program, go to printer, and instead of selecting the printer, you're going to select Microsoft Print to PDF. Remove the bleed and click on print, name it and save it. Now you already have the design so you can work with it in another program. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.